Okay, we're back on. So um, I had to change the battery pack. More comments on the same video. I'm reading uh, replies here to uh, my video, MGTOW problems, MGTOW flaws. It's got a lot of dislikes, so I'm just reading the comments and shit. Okay, if you haven't caught the first part of the video here. All right, so another guy writes on the video comments. I was missing that warm touch from companion until I got burned and quickly realized that it's dangerous. I bought Love Doll for 1050 USD. <laughs> Best companion ever. And super good looking. <laughs> Once I come inside her, I come to my senses and continue to do what I must do. Like learn new language, service my off-grid home, and so on. And this was from one year ago comment, Art Joms Pujakovs, if I said that correctly. You got five thumbs up from people on there. Wow. So you bought a love doll, sex doll, for $1,000. That's very nice. Whatever floats your boat, if it helps you get through the day. Which kind did you get? I want to know, is you know, she black, white, Asian, something, something? I'm just curious or whatever. Because $1,000 is a lot of money. I hope that it does something other than be inanimate. Like, can you move it around like a G.I. Joe figure? Or does it just stay stiff? By the way, check out my new release if you haven't seen it already. Asian Teen Sex Doll Robot. Google that. Check it out. X videos to T codes, etc. Anyway, yeah, so you bought a doll for a thousand dollars or whatever. You do realize you could have bought like a real porn star and made the movie with her being a doll for the same money, correct? You could have got the pussy, could have had the real girl instead of the doll, but there's trade-offs in life, etc., etc. Alright, so that's how you're getting through the day with the sex doll. Learning new language and servicing your off-grid home. Okay, you've got things figured out, I guess, man. I'm happy for you and uh, whatever. I'm sorry you missed the warm touch from your companion, but what about the doll? Is the doll warm or cold? Hold on, is somebody knocking at the fucking door here? No, they're not. There's like a boiler heater here or something that makes fucking weird tapping noises. I sometimes think things are knocking. It's probably a fucking ghost in the basement. Really. All right. So the guy's <laughs> this guy's got a sex doll for a thousand. Why is it a thousand dollars? Okay. Did you look on AliExpress first? That seems like a lot of money unless it like actually moves or has like a plug-in heater. The pussy better be lubricated and everything for $1,000. It can't just be an inflatable rubber, what they call that shit, cyber skin thing. It better be pretty fucking good. Like with a real skeleton and shit. And you could articulate it. I want to find out if it's $1,000. Yeah, that seems a little, little pricey. So anyway, he says it's super good looking, best companion ever. But the problem with that, brother, is you still have to use your imagination. She can't talk to you. She can't interact with you. And likewise, you can't listen to the fucking doll. It's just a thing. It's a thing just like your house, car, bike, camera, laptop, microphone, anything, man. It's just shit. You know, you might as well go and fuck your telephone. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, some people, they need things for make the simulation feel more real, I guess. But unless you live in a place where there's no women at all, if you do, I feel bad for you. Um, why not just relocate somewhere where the game is easier, man? Shit. It just seems to me like when I read comments like this, it's like you've, you, you've got your feelings hurt. I understand it. I've been there. Bitches have ripped my heart out and put it in the fucking blender, etc. without a second thought. But... You learn to get over that in time. You should, at least. If not, I mean, this might take years. Some people, I've seen some people would take decades and whatever. But, I mean, it's a, it's an emptying experience, what this guy is describing. As he says, he got burned. Well, I don't know how badly you got burned, bro. 
you know, whatever. But everyone, it happens to everybody eventually. I'm pretty sure of it. So, like, what's it going to happen? I mean, is he going to give up completely, huh? And just live in the woods, off the grid. It makes sense to not have any bills and this and that. But why not live, I have a better idea. Why not live off the grid with the girls? Isn't this like the whole goal of every cult and fucking Memonite, Amish, fucking whatever you want to call it. Most of these guys, they want to live off the grid with a bunch of teenage fucking girls and knock them all up. Which is what I think is the goal of most cults and rural type of religions and shit like that. In my personal opinion, it's just like legalized polygamy in my, you know, I'm, I'm all for it. You know what I'm saying? Fuck that. Why not? I'll take a dozen wives. Why the fuck not? I got enough land. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? I think that people like this guy here, you need to utilize your resources, you know? Why not use your, whatever your MGTOW shit has done for you? Why don't you utilize all the proceeds from the monies you've saved to have a good time with your shit off the grid? Why not import a girl from another country? Can't be that hard. Probably the visa is cheaper than the thousand dollars X dog. God damn dog. I'm starting to think a lot of people haven't discovered airports or don't have passports or internet access or they're just not thinking the way that I'm thinking. Shit. Man, I'm gonna have to smoke a blunt after this <laughs> reading this thing. Shit, boy. <laughs> In the sex, you got a thousand dollar sex dog. <laughs> you crackers are crazy. <laughs> Do you know how many hoes you could have got for a thousand dollars, Nick? A thousand and fifty dollars, actually, USD. USD. That'll buy a lot of Indians in Canada. <laughs> oh, shit. <coughs> okay, pause. <coughs>